Breast reduction surgery may affect the ability to breastfeed. The reason for that is the procedure is designed to remove skin and breast tissue. In that breast tissue are glands which produce and allow for milk storage. So by removing these glands, one, we may decrease the capacity to house and store the milk, and two, we may affect the way that's transported to the nipple and ultimately to the baby. So it doesn't always affect breastfeeding. However, it may primarily affect breastfeeding in the sense that you one is not able to produce enough milk or the baby is not able to um, retrieve enough milk to satisfy. The second thing uh, related to breastfeeding and breast reduction surgery is that after the procedure you may choose to have a, another child or your first child or whatever the case may be but any subsequent children may again increase the size of the breast related to the engorgement uh, from pregnancy and ultimately uh, the physiologic effects that uh, are involved in breastfeeding. That breast engorgement may create a situation, again, may create a situation such that in the future you may require an additional uh, breast procedure. So those are two things to think about. Uh, in my experience, it hasn't been a problem and actually the relief that most women get from their large breasts uh, outweigh the possibilities of uh, breastfeeding in the first place. However, there are there is a group of women who do present after having children and after breastfeeding. And certainly breastfeeding has done a, a number on their breasts, increasing the size of the breasts and increasing the symptoms associated with having those large breasts.